Using the Riverside app, we're going to show you how you can record, edit, and publish a video podcast directly from the iPad. With the Riverside app, you can have multiple remote guests all tuning in via video, and they can also use the Riverside app on their mobile device. You can download those individual high-quality video tracks or audio tracks directly to the iPad, edit them here, we'll show you some apps for that, and publish it to YouTube or your podcast host. This is the brand new M2 iPad Pro, which has improved video quality, even up to Dolby Vision, but you can do this with any iPad, especially one with USB-C, which makes it easier to connect those USB microphones. Of course, you'll want to download the free Riverside app. We'll put a link in the video descriptions to download. You can download it for iPhone, iPad, or your Android device. Once it's downloaded, I can go into the Riverside application and then into one of my Riverside studios. Now here in the lobby, before I join the studio, I'm going to connect my USB microphone. This is the Audio-Technica ATR2100X. It's a great mic. It has a USB-C connector and XLR, so you can even use it when you upgrade your setup. But we actually have an entire video on USB mics, especially if you're getting into podcasting. You can check out that video above or in the description. Again, because this iPad has USB-C, I can just use a single cable, no adapters, to connect this microphone directly to the iPad. As you can see, the microphone light turned on, which means it's connected. If you see this pop up when you connect a USB microphone, you can connect your wired headphones to your mic and then tap no, meaning you'll use the same device for your audio input and output. If you're using something like AirPods in addition to a USB mic, you'll actually have to toggle between speaking and listening. So we recommend using a pair of wired headphones connected to your USB mic and then tap no. Again, from the iPad, I can send a guest invite. This way my remote guest can join and I can copy the link or share it directly in a text message or email. Now, since this is a video podcast, I do want to get the best angle from my iPad camera. So I'm going to use this Magflot magnetic stand for iPad. This way I can show you what the audio and video looks like directly from the iPad. Now, this is the video directly from the iPad back camera in addition to the USB microphone connected. As you can see, you can get high quality video and this is recorded directly in Riverside. Now that I'm done recording, I'll tap the end button and call for all. As you can see, now the recording is completely uploaded. I'll hit done here on the iPad. Now to download those video and audio files, I'll need to go to the Riverside dashboard in the Safari web browser on iPad. Once I've logged into my Riverside account, I can go to that same studio which I used to record. I'll click view recordings here on the iPad. In my studio recordings, I'll go to the latest recording. And here I can download the high quality video and audio files directly onto my iPad. I'll tap high quality. I can download the synced video file here, hit download, and download her video as well. I can also download the raw audio, and then I can bring that into any third party application to edit it from my iPad. You can see the download progress by clicking this arrow in the top right corner. If you'd like to jump to the folder where these files are saved, tap the magnifying glass. And here you can see those high quality video files are right here on my iPad ready to edit. Now let's say you did a two person interview, you and a remote guest, and you'd like to do a side by side video and edit it here on your iPad. Well, there's a great free application directly from Apple called iMovie, and it allows you to do a split screen with one host on either side and then export that video directly on the iPad, save it, and then you can upload it to YouTube. I'm gonna open the iMovie application here and then tap start a new project. From here, I'll choose movie. I'm actually not gonna select any of the videos currently in my camera roll. I'm just gonna tap create movie. Now on this screen, I can choose to browse the files already on my iPad, and you'll see I can access the downloaded video files from Riverside right here. I'll tap my video and add it to the timeline. Here's my side of the interview, but now I need to add Bridget's. To add her video, I'm gonna tap files again, go back to my downloads folder, and then select her video. When this pops up, I'm actually gonna hit the more command, and you'll see I can choose split screen right here from the menu. When I choose split screen, it'll overlay her video on top of mine, and now we actually have a side-by-side -side video right here in iMovie directly on iPad. I can preview the video, hear what it sounds like, and from here I can change the in and out points, cut and splice, and make sure it's ready to publish to YouTube. When everything's ready, I can tap done. Then on this screen, I can tap the share button at the bottom, and then save this completed video file back to my files app on my iPad. If you'd like to upload this video to YouTube directly from your iPad, you will need to save it to your camera roll or photos app in order for the YouTube app to see it. I'll tap the share button here in iMovie and then actually choose just save video. That will save it to the photos app. Now if I open the YouTube application, I can tap the plus button at the bottom, choose video, and you'll see my interview file is right here ready to go. I can tap that, again set the in and out points in the YouTube app if I want, tap next, and then it's ready to upload directly to YouTube. If you have an audio only recording and you'd like to edit for an audio podcast to upload to your podcast host, a great application for that is called Ferrite. The Ferrite app on iPad looks like this. You can actually import your uncompressed WAV files and edit it right here, and then export an MP3 file for your podcast host. Let us know if you'd like a deep dive on the Ferrite application in the comments of this video.
And that's how you can record, edit, and publish a video podcast using the Riverside app and iPad. To learn more, subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have lots of equipment recommendations, how to record from mobile devices like iPhone and Android, and more information on the Riverside iPad app, plus things like video switchers, automating your podcast production workflow, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.